Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is Sir Godwin and today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how you're going to set up your stream labels or otherwise known as your follower count, donation goal, top donator, follower goal, all that good jazz that you see on streams um, using using the program Twitch Alert on OBS. So, <clears throat> firstly what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to that. <laughs> I just mixed a bunch of words up right there. You're going to want to go to www.twitchalerts.com. You don't have to remember that because I will have that in the description. You'll just, you'll just have to click on that. You're going to click on launch, launch Twitch Alerts. Uh, it will show a little page. It will say you, you're, that you'll have to log into your Twitch. Um, that's just to connect everything. And as you can see over here, I am logged in. Go over to Stream Labels. As you can see, it says download stream levels v1.0. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do that again, but we'll just click on that. And once that's downloaded, you can pause the video right here or whatever until that's downloaded. Once that's downloaded, you're going to want to make a file. So, for me, I just have a file on my other screen. See where my mouse just appears. I have a file on my other screen called Twitch Alerts. And uh, you're just going to make a file. Call, I'd, call it, I'd call it Twitch Alerts folder or whatever, Twitch Alerts text, something like that. But gonna go once you have that done, you're gonna open this. It'll again have you log into Twitch. Go to file, change output folder, and Twitch alert folder is what I use. You're gonna choose whatever it is, and you're gonna click on that, you're gonna click select folder. I don't have to click that because I already have it set up. Then you're gonna go on to go to settings. Um, I don't know for sure if you're gonna to have to do this, but just to make sure, I just go in here and go save and close, just to make sure it's all there. But then what you're going to want to do is going to, go to want to go to OBS. Once you're on OBS, uh, you're going to want to go to add text. I'm just going to call it text. I'm also going to change the color because it is a white screen. Okay, and you're going to use text from file UF, UTF-8 or compatible. I'm going to go browse. I'm already under this, but you want, what you want to go do is find that folder that you saved them all to. You're going to go down here. Um, this is for the session. This is just to show you well pretty much everything that you have right here is right here Whatever you want to put on Your screen is all gonna be right here But for this for this tutorial, I'm going to show you the uh, session um, Wherever it is session follower account because that is what I have set up as you can see right there You can change the font change colors and change everything else on here Then as you can see right here, you can see follower goal zero out of five just expand this a little bit just so you can see it a little bit better and and that's pretty much it that's what you're gonna do with all your stuff you're just gonna go in and go and create a text fold you want to add text and choose whatever you want you want you can move it around um, put it wherever you want size it change the color change the font do whatever you want with it um, just to prove that this is what it's this I'm not doing I'm not like faking you guys out or anything I'm gonna go into here go settings I will go to the session follower account. You can see it's a zero. It says out of five. Um, you can go in here and change whatever you want to do whatever you want. I'll change that to ten. I'll click on save and close. And as you can see right here, it's changed to zero out of ten. And that's just proving that this is this works. It works. It's really easy to do. It's not hard at all, and it it makes your streams look a lot more professional and a lot better, and just a lot nicer to watch. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much gonna call it for this episode. Well, not this episode. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Um, that's gonna cause it for this call it for this tutorial. Um, if this tutorial did help you out, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, it really helps me out. I appreciate it. it. Shows me that you got that I'm doing something right. Also, if you want to see more awesome, uh, more helpful tutorials, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I also do a lot of awesome gaming content, including Call of Duty, um, uh, the Minecraft, Pokemon, pretty much whatever I play. Um, also, if there's any other tutorials that you would like to see, put in the comment section what you want to see. And if you enjoy how I show you guys how to do this, I will go ahead and work on that tutorial right there. But anyways, guys, my name is Mr. Goblin, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.